What's up everybody, it's Ashish from Ashish Creation and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a double exposure image in Photoshop. So guys, this is my first video which I have ever created regarding double exposure. So this photo I have created with kind of a very trending and unique theme with cool color tone effect which are very popular on Instagram. So guys, before hitting to the video, just press the like button and if you still not subscribed, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified regarding our presets and also our video tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. So guys, and visit our website that is www.ashvirgrations.com. From there you can download free preset regarding Lightroom preset, mobile Lightroom preset, camera preset, light uh, LUTs to color grade your photo as well as for videos also. And also the backgrounds and PNG, another cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff just for free. I will be uploading on that website every day. And guys also follow me on Instagram if you have any kind of an query regarding any kind of photoshop or lightroom or any kind of questions then just dm me on instagram i'll be soon answering your questions over there so before any further ado let's jump to the video and guys be creative and be awesome So guys, here is my raw image. Now we are going to edit this photograph. So select the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon to select your photograph. So here we have done selection process. You can also select your photo very precisely using pen tool. Now right click on it and select Leva copy option or you can directly press Ctrl J from the keyboard to make a duplication of the image. So here you can see the difference and here I have already done the cutout. Now here I will add first of all the background. So go to the file, click on open and let's just browse the background. Let's uh, select this. Just drag it and drop over here. Go to the edit, select the free transform and uh, increase the size of the background. Just place it somewhere over here. Now this one is really looking very cool. Now the next thing would be to add this background. So let's go to the file, click on open and let's browse one more background that is this. Just drag it and drop over here. Now all you're gonna do is just you know press Ctrl D and resize a little bit. Press Ctrl F and press Ctrl C. Sorry, Ctrl X to cut cut the image and just delete this layer. And just press a uh, Ctrl key from the keyboard and a left click of the mouse to select your subject. So go to the edit select the paste special and just select the paste into so it will just you know paste that uh, image into your subjective selection so here we have almost done our edit adding the image into the subject now all you're gonna do is first of all we are going to add some kind of loot on the image so just to select the yeah before before I do just remove this and first of all all you're gonna do is let's just uh, select the blur tool select the blur and select the hard run brush and just you know do the process of blurring because by uh, blurring this the photograph will look very much original and realistic so it is very much necessary and important to blur the edge of the subject in order to maintain the originalism of the image so finally here we have done the process of blurring now all you gonna do is first of all select this image 
press Ctrl A from the keyboard and copy it and just select this subject go to that and select the paste special and select paste into now the next thing would be we are going to do is that first of all all we are going to do is just go to the color lookup and let's select the uh, Alan Palander inspired you know loots let's select this loot file or oh, let's select this I think this one is looking very much perfect so just select this now the next thing would be is that you have to just first of all you will just go to the background layer press ctrl l from the keyboard and just move your cursor from left to right in order to make the blackness on the image so you can see the different here was the before and here is the after now just select the brush tool and just select the soft round brush you can decrease the opacity just delete it from the image make the opacity to 75% of the brush and just delete it from your face region also from your hand region also also let's delete it from this portion Now this one is really looking very much amazing and here you have to make a perfect cut over here to in order to create such kind of you know image effect so just delete it perfectly and just un unhide this layer now go to the layer select this uh, you know dodge tool first of all all we're gonna do is select the rectangle tool and just create a new layer and fill it with the 50% gray change the blending mode to overlay and select the dodge tool and from there you can just make the exposure to 15 or 14 percent and just highlight this area first we're gonna just smoothen the face or select the mixture brush tool and just smooth your face a little bit also we'll smooth on the face or and the hand region also Now select the dodge tool and just add some highlights on the image of the face of the subject. Also on the hand region.
Now here we have done the smoothening of the skin and here you can just place it. Again go to the select the brush tool and go to the select the mask layer and here you can just delete some of the opacity from here. Now this one is really looking very much amazing. You can just merge the layers or you can first of all adjust the light because the light should be coming on the edge of the image. Sorry for that. So just keep these lights over here and just create new layer and select the brush tool. Pick this color and add some lights over here make the opacity to 100% change the blending mode to screen press ctrl D from the keyboard and you can just increase a little bit press ctrl U from the keyboard and just make it more reddish Now this one is really looking very much perfect. Now you can just merge all the layers all the way from here. You can make gold skin if you want. So select the hue, select the red color and just make it to kind of you know yellowish type. Just a little bit to plus 4. Now your skin is really looking just like you know gold skin. You can just merge all the layers all the way from here. Just right click on it and here you can just delete some of the area from here. Select the white tool from here. Now this one is really looking very much amazing. So just merge all the layers from here, right click on it and select merge layers. So finally here we have done our process of adding, uh, making your double exposure image with perfect gold skin effect. So you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed then just give a thumbs up on this video and also if you still not subscribed then do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest updates so for videos and please head also visit our website that is www.ashyrelations.com from there you can download background schema reset lightroom reset LUTs, pngs and other cool for trading as well as video editing stuff for free also guys visit uh, our uh, you know follow me on instagram just type ashyrelations so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video